ஹலோ எவ்ரிவன் வெல்கம் டு அனதர் சீரீஸ் ஸோ திஸ் வீடியோஸ் வில் பி டார்கெட் டு வர்ஸ் பிகினர்ஸ் ஹூ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் மச் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் பெயிண்டிங் வித் கஸ்டம் பெயிண்ட் அண்ட் ஃபார் தி ஃபஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஆஃப் திஸ் சீரீஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐம் கோயின் டு ஷோ யூ ஹவ் யூ கேன் ட்ரா லைன்ஸ் பை கனெக்டிங் பிட்வீன் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இன் தி ஃப்ளட்டர் கஸ்டம் பெயிண்ட் அண்ட் இன் தி அப்கமிங் வீடியோஸ் ஐம் பி ஷோயிங் யூ ஹவ் டு ட்ரா கவுஸ் ஆர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஷேப்ஸ் அண்ட் அதர் ஷேப்ஸ் ஆஸ் வெல் அண்ட் also in this series i'll be also showing you how to animate them as well let's get started by getting rid of all the unnecessary code we have here and let's add back our build method and inside the build method for now just return the scaffold and a hotter shot you can see then we have a very empty flutter app this is one we want to start with so the first thing we need to do is add the custom paint inside the body and below our class let's define a curve custom paint class which will be ascending the custom paint after that let's override the default to methods which we definitely need to override the first method is the paint method inside which we'll be writing all the code for Uh, painting everything that you want to see inside the custom paint canvas so instead of paint method let's first of all define a paint object with a color of yellow and with a scale of fill let's draw a line and the draw line method takes in two parameters which both of them are an offset the first parameter is the one which we call the start point of the line and the second parameter is the one which we call the end point of the line so if you pass in this two coordinates to the draw line method it will then draw the line connecting between these two coordinates and for the draw line and let's pass in the pane which we created above and now back in our widget class let's call this custom painter as the painter parameter and now when we hold the stand we can see that we have a line drawn let's change the color and add a stroke width to see it better and more clearly and now we can see that we have a red line inside our canvas which is a straight line drawn between the two points which we have passed and now you can see that we have a line drawn in the custom paint and this line is being drawn in between the two points which we have passed into the draw line parameters and basically this is how the draw line method works you just have to pass in the two offset positions or the coordinates and after that the framework the canvas will figure out how to draw this thing and it will draw a line connecting between these two points and now before going on to the next step let's add some circles to view these points better so i'm going to use the draw circle method from the canvas which takes in a position where you want the center of circle to be and the radius and the paint method since we only have two points i'm going to copy paste those points as two different row circle methods and i'm going to change the paint to a different color black now you can see the points in the screen and this actually shows you the two points which we have defined and the link connection between these two points and this is just for a better contrast nothing other than that now i do want to add more points as well so i'm going to create a new list called points and inside this i'm going to add some offsets i'm going to take the offset from the given points and i'm going to add another offset to this as well now that we have defined the points let's draw a line connecting through each of these points and for that we are going to use the for loop and inside the for loop i'm going to define two variables called the current point and the next point so that it will be much more easier for you guys to read and i'm going to use the same method which we have defined before called the draw line method and here i'm going to pass in the current and the next point as the two points and the paint as previously and you can see then we have a three lane system present Now similarly using another loop I have also drawn all the points as circles as well so it is easier to understand what is happening So that's it for 
this part one of the video where we just learn how to draw lanes in flutter custom paint in the next part of this video i'll be showing you guys how to create curves as well we'll be also learning how to create different type of curves like the cubic curve quadratic basic curves and much more in flutter so stay tuned <laughs> 